Apocalypse of Zerubbabel. The Apocalypse of Zerubbabel, also known as the Vision of Zerubbabel, is a Jewish apocryphal text focusing on the visions of the Jewish leader Zerubbabel, who played a key role in rebuilding the Second Temple in Jerusalem after the Babylonian exile. This apocalypse deals with themes such as the redemption of Israel, the figure of the Messiah, and the final battle between the forces of good and evil. It is a deeply messianic text, reflecting the apocalyptic and eschatological expectations of Jewish communities during the Second Temple period and under subsequent Roman rule. The Apocalypse of Zerubbabel was likely composed during a period of crisis for the Jewish people, probably between the 1st and 3rd centuries AD, when Israel lived under foreign powers, first under the Hellenistic Greeks and later under the Romans. This context of oppression and political conflict is crucial to understanding the content of the Apocalypse, which presents a vision of divine intervention where God will liberate his people through the Messiah. Zerubbabel is an important figure in Jewish history, as he was the leader who, under Persian patronage, returned to Jerusalem after the Babylonian exile and oversaw the rebuilding of the Temple. In the Apocalypse, his role is expanded to include a series of visions about Israel's future and the coming of the Messiah, making him a spokesperson for messianic hope and the restoration of God's people. The Apocalypse of Zerubbabel opens with a series of visions that Zerubbabel receives about Israel's destiny. In these visions, he is shown the final battle between the forces of good, led by the Messiah, and the forces of evil, represented by Gog and Magog apocalyptic figures that appear in various biblical traditions as enemies of Israel. Zerubbabel is also given a revelation about the identity of the Messiah, who in this text is described as a descendant of King David, a figure who will restore the kingdom of Israel and defeat the enemies of God. The Messiah, often referred to as the Messiah's son of David, is portrayed as a divine warrior who will accomplish Israel's redemption through military victory over the nations that oppress the Jewish people. The Apocalypse provides detailed descriptions of the events preceding the final battle, including the rise of false prophets, tribulations for the righteous, and the corruption of rulers. These events culminate in an apocalyptic war where the forces of the Messiah defeat the armies of Gog and Magog, thus establishing God's kingdom on earth. The role of the Messiah is central to the Apocalypse of Zerubbabel. The Messiah is not just a spiritual leader but also a military leader who fights against Israel's enemies. This image of a warrior Messiah aligns with other Jewish apocalyptic traditions, where the Messiah plays an active role in the eschatological battle that ends oppression and restores justice. The battle between the Messiah and the armies of Gog and Magog is the climax of the Apocalypse. Gog and Magog, traditional figures in apocalyptic literature, are often associated with nations that oppose God in the final battle. In the Apocalypse of Zerubbabel, these figures are depicted as the ultimate enemies who will be defeated by divine intervention. The Messiah, with the help of the heavenly armies and the righteous of Israel, will vanquish the forces of evil and establish a new kingdom of justice in Jerusalem. This vision of the final battle reflects the messianic hopes of a community living under foreign oppression, awaiting divine deliverance. The Apocalypse of Zerubbabel is deeply messianic in its focus, centering on the figure of the Messiah as the divine agent who will bring about the final redemption of Israel. The Messiah is described as a descendant of David, reflecting traditional Jewish expectations that the Messiah would be a restorer of the Davidic kingdom. In addition to the Messiah, the Apocalypse also explores important eschatological themes such as the resurrection of the dead, the final judgment, and the restoration of Jerusalem. At the end of time, the righteous will be resurrected to participate in the Messianic kingdom, while the wicked will be punished in God's judgment. Another significant theme is the restoration of Jerusalem as the center of God's kingdom. After the final battle, Jerusalem will be rebuilt and become the center of divine power on earth, where the Messiah will reign over all nations. This vision of the restoration of Jerusalem symbolizes the final redemption and divine justice. 
The Apocalypse of Zerubbabel reflects a theology of divine intervention in human history, where Israel's suffering under foreign oppression is seen as temporary, to be followed by the final victory of God's people. The Messiah, as a descendant of David, represents the promise that God has not abandoned his people and that justice will prevail. The use of symbolic figures like Gog and Magog is a common device in apocalyptic literature to represent the enemies of God. These figures are portrayed as leaders of foreign nations that will attempt to destroy Israel but will be defeated by divine intervention. This symbolism is particularly relevant to a community living under foreign domination, viewing foreign empires as a threat to their identity and faith. The Apocalypse of Zerubbabel had a significant influence on Messianic traditions in Judaism. Although it was not accepted into the biblical canon, its content resonated deeply with Jewish communities facing persecution and oppression, offering clear hope for future redemption and divine intervention. The text also influenced the development of Messianic theology in later Judaism. The image of the warrior Messiah who defeats Israel's enemies and establishes a kingdom of justice in Jerusalem is a distinctive feature of Messianic expectations in many Jewish traditions and was adapted in some Christian traditions as well. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Give it a like, comment your thoughts, and share this video with your friends and family.